Welcome to Evening Prayer. My name is Christina and you are very welcome here in my home, in my worship space. Uh, tonight we will be using the service sheet Evening Prayer. You'll find it on our website dedhamandartleyparishes.org. Go to service resources and you'll find Evening Prayer. Our Bible reading tonight is Psalm 32 and I'll be reading from the New Revised Standard Version. As you can see, this is a pre-recorded evening prayer, so if at any time you'd like to stop or pause the recording for further reflection or prayer, then please feel free to do so. So, let's begin. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Psalm 32 Happy are those whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Happy are those to whom the Lord imputes no iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. While I kept silence, my body wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My strength was dried up as by the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you, and I did not hide my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let all who are faithful offer prayer to you. At a time of distress, the rush of the mighty waters shall not reach them. You are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with glad cries of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Do not be like a horse or a mule without understanding, whose temper must be curbed with bit and bridle, else it will not stay near you. Many are the torments of the wicked, but steadfast love surrounds those who trust in the Lord. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, O righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. Psalm 32 is one of the penitential psalms, but instead of having uh, something sort of heavy uh, about it, I find that it's actually very uplifting and um, that we learn a lot about the blessing of sin forgiven, um, you know, of God wanting to be right, wanting us to be right with him and um, coming to him in confession and receiving his forgiveness. And certainly as such, I find it a very uh, liberating uh, psalm. Exactly one year ago I, I was on my pilgrimage walk and on this day one year ago I made a note from an, a, an app I had from TZ, the religious community in France. Um, every day there's a verse from the Bible and then a short text. And in this case it's a text by Frère Roger and I'd like to share it with you because I think it speaks very nicely on Psalm 32, exactly one year on. By forgiving us, God buries our past and brings relief to the secret wounds of our being. When we can express to God all that burdens our life and keeps us trapped, between the, beneath the weight of a judgment, 
Then light is shed on the shadows within us, knowing that we are listened to, understood and forgiven by God is one of the sources of peace and our hearts begin to find healing. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. I have called you by name. You are mine. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. The Magnificat, the Song of Mary. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. For me, the Magnificat is also a song of the weak in the face of the strong, a song of those with little power in the face of those with power. And over these last few days, I have thought a lot about the events following the death of George Floyd and the protest this has sparked uh, in the US, but obviously not just there. And perhaps you have been <laughs> looking at the picture behind me already and have been wondering why I'm standing in front of this picture. It is um, an opera poster of a 1984 production of the opera Satyagraha by Philip Glass in my hometown in Wuppertal. And suddenly listening to this opera in 1984 changed my life. It certainly changed my ears. Uh, Satyagra is Sanskrit and I probably mispronounce this. Um, uh, Satya means truth and Agraha means an insistence on something or to hold firmly to something. And Satyagraha was Mahatma Gandhi's concept of nonviolent resistance. And this in turn influenced Martin Luther King Jr. and the civil rights movement in the United States. And indeed, Martin Luther King Jr. features in this opera. Lord, tonight I pray for peace in the US, in all our countries and around the world. 
Lord, please instruct us and teach us the way we should go when working on resolving racial inequality and tension. Your peace, Lord, your love is for everyone. Your forgiveness, Lord, is for everyone, all of us who confess our sins. Lord, help us all to hold firmly to truth and to do so peacefully across nations and cultures and religions and denominations from Satyagraha to the words of the Hebrew Psalms. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And let us say the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. So I wish you all a very good evening and a restful, peaceful night beyond.